Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm here. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Oh, sorry. Got a little shaky this morning. And I have a Facebook Live every morning, or <laughs> not every morning, every Wednesday morning at 9.30. Ah, I can't even talk. 10.30. Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> you distracted me. I saw you pop up. I'm so glad that you're here. Have a Facebook Live every Wednesday morning at 10.30. And so you can find me on my business page, Facebook business page, at facebook.com slash Dazzled by Stamping. Hi, Sherry. Uh, and you can find me anytime during the week on my website, uh, dazzledbystamping.com. So I'm glad that you're here. Um, I, I can't think of any stories to tell you. Ha! <laughs> Usually I always start out with a story, but I, I, hi Nancy, I'm glad you're here. Hey, I've been meaning to, uh, to find out how your thing went Friday. You'll have to let me know. Um, so I am showing, um, some kind of sneak peeks today. Um, I decided that it was close enough that I could show them, um, starting, wow, you're fast, Marilyn. Thanks for sharing already. Um, I am, uh, Starting March 1, Stampin' Up! has a promotion called um, Celebration Coordination. Um, I love this, that Stampin' Up! is all about coordination. Um, I That's one of the things that I fell in love with when I first found Stampin' Up! The, the inks and cardstock and markers and whatever, they all coordinate. And I don't have to worry about... I seriously can still remember stamping red ink on white cardstock and putting it next to red cardstock and not having them match. It drove me nuts. Uh, couldn't handle it. Anyway, then I found Stampin' Up! And they're all about coordination. And sometimes, um, uh, sometimes too much coordination. <laughs> I honestly think that might have been what happened with the, uh, the back order on the Butterfly Duet. Um, punch. So much stuff coordinated and we all loved it. <laughs> I, they, it was perfect. I, I just love it. Anyway, um, not that that's a problem, I guess, but, um, I love coordination. Obviously everybody else does too. So, um, between that and the gingham designer paper and the, the ribbon that hopefully is coming again, is that really possible? Too much coordination? Right. Um, the the ribbon, the celebration ribbon that hopefully is going to be available again around March 4th. So what is that? Monday? Tuesday? Um, anyway, I'm going to have to be quick if you if, when it's available and if you want it. Um, but it's still going to be something that you have to earn with um, a $50 order. So anyway, so... <clears throat> I need a drink already. Sorry. So, I'm going to show you. Well, I only have one actual product to show you, but I can tell you about the rest of the stuff. So, Stampin' Up! Um, on March 1 is going to have available a stamp set called More Than Words. Um, this is something that is coordinating with several different items that are currently in available during celebration. So um, I made this little cheat sheet thing for me. I'll probably make copies for my team um, for our meeting next week. Is it next week? Yes. Um, so some of it um, coordinates with um, So Happy Together. So here's Hopping By, Jumping In. So what I figured out was, thanks for jumping in, or thanks for hopping by, hopping by. And then there's this one, um, leaping for joy is easy to do when I have a friend as amazing as you. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> so that one goes with, obviously, the, um, the frog one also. And then there's sprinkles. Here's... Um, okay, so I'm starting over here. Today calls for something sweet. And this one says with extra sprinkles on top. So this obviously goes with the um, 
Hello Cupcake um, stamp set. And then there's this Wishes one that I'm planning to use today. Um, and the it goes with birthday and Christmas and New Year's and there's Easter somewhere. Oh, Easter up at the top. Um, so I think that one is supposed to go with um, the bundle that I showed you last, yeah, last week. Um, the Painted Seasons, yeah, Painted Seasons bundle. Um, so it goes with all your seasons that you kind of have in your designer paper. So, um, and then there's this other one that's cute. Where is it? Oh, I I've always love this word because adulting is hard. <laughs> adulting cracks me up using it as a verb. Um, I think this one probably goes with the, um, part of my story, um, stamp set because it's just a set of cute fun saying so anyway and then this one I'm not sure what bravery goes with but the words I did make a, a sample with this um, you have so much courage strength and bravery and then you can also go bravery where is it looks beautiful on you um, I'm not sure hi Marcia um, I didn't send your cards out yet you won did you even see that you won last week um, I have to get it out today. I just wrote your envelope. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm not sure what one this one goes with in in the celebration stuff, um, but it probably goes really well with the um, oh, what it's called. I don't remember, but it's another um, like cancer one, a support one. Um, <laughs> Yay for you, Marsha. Um, Nancy, maybe you remember what it's called. Oh, I, I can probably find it. Anyway, it, I would think, ooh, sorry. <laughs> Bumping stuff. Um, I I would think that, oh, I found it already. Artfully aware. It, I, it probably would go really well with this stamp set. This is really cool. I've done a few samples with it, but I don't think that I've shown it on here. Anyway, <clears throat> so I really like the stamp set. Lots of different um, fun and cool and and um, I love fonts. I just, words, uh, that's the first thing that I'm attracted to in the catalog. Um, I don't know about you guys, but anyway, so there's that. So that's only one of the items that is part of the co um, celebration coordination. Ah, yeah, I beat you. Um, there are four sets of framelits that are also going to be available. Now, here's the thing. All of these items are only going to be available in March, March 1 through 31. So there's, <clears throat> excuse me, four sets of framelits. One is for Lasting Lily. Um, so there's all the, I sorry, I can't so, show you the flyer because it's not live yet. And I, if I had the products, I could show you that, but I didn't buy them. Um, so the one for Lasting Lily and um, one for the Hello Cupcake. There's the cupcake top, the frosting, the bottom, whatever. One for um, So Happy Together so you could don't have to fussy cut out the, the all the frogs. Um, there's a lily pad even and um, several of the frogs. And then there's one for the um, Painted Seasons bundle. Remember I showed you the, that stamp set last week with the, I'm gonna show you the designer paper because I'm actually gonna use some of it today. So this designer paper with, uh, I put the stamp set away, sorry. Um, so pretty flowers and leaves and stuff like that. So there's thinlets for all that. And then there's a punch too. It's called Story Label Punch. So I'm gonna show you those really quick. So, because I have something to show you of that. These aren't my samples. These are actually um, some swaps that I got. So I will show you these. So here is one. This is the punch, um, story label punch. Um, so that is only gonna be available. Hi Judy, thanks for joining us. Um, that's only gonna be available in March and they, um, this person used it. It's Susie Wood. She made me this. No, this isn't Susie Wood. This is Ruth Bingle. Um, she made this card with the, 
the stamp set and this um, the pretty designer paper. I would say the mushroom one is my least favorite design. I just love the flowers for some reason. Um, so there's that one. And then here is the um, story label punch again on another card. This one is from Susie Wood. Um, so this one is using the stamp set. This is the one I was trying to tell you about. Um, so here's the punch anyway. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is the stamp set. And I'm going to be using this, don't forget the, the embossing folder. The embossing folder is celebration. It's not coordination. That's not, that's different. Um, uh, that is an additional celebration item that's available, but it's not part of the bundle and it's not celebration coordination. It's just a celebration item. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, so I'm going to choose, going to use the stamp set with the stamp apparatus because, let me show you this stamp set again, wishes, bottom of wishes perfect for the Stamparatus. So I'm going to show you this. In case anybody who is watching this hasn't seen the Stamparatus, I'm going to show you a little bit about it and then I'm going to use it um, in a couple different ways on a couple different cards. So, um, so I'm going to put you down in a sec. Remember a few things. First of all, if you uh, share, like, and comment that you shared um, this video, then you're going to be entered into a drawing to um, to win the cards that I'm going to make today, and um, and also remember that when I have you down, sometimes I can see that somebody commented or somebody just came on, but I can't see what you're saying. So um, so keep chatting at me, but and I'll I'll answer your questions later. But I can't I can't see. Sorry, I just have to stamp. So um, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, so I'm going to put you down and um, show you my stuff. Okay, so make sure I'm in here good. Okay, so here's the Stamparatus. If you've not seen it, it comes with two plates that are, you can't see the top one very well, that are, there's hinges for these. Um, and this is a positioning tool. It comes with um, two very strong magnets. Um, you need to make sure that they are far enough apart. You need to never lay them on the table because they're strong enough and they're very brittle um, that they could pull to each other. And I've actually seen a video where both of them just shattered. Um, don't do that. I actually had one. I think it happened. They were. They, I had them on the board on my Stamparatus, but they were too close and they still pulled each other together. Even though like this is this board underneath is metal, so. Um, one of them cracked, one of them just, it was gone. So where you store it, if you don't have it on the top, is there's two places. There's a storage spot here and a storage spot here. So you can get replacement ones if you need to. I have needed to already. I have an extra, I have a spare still. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get this out of the way so I can show you this, this um, a little bit more. Okay, so it does not come with this. We sell um, a pad of, what do they call it? Small grid sheet paper, um, a pad of these. So it's cut perfectly for the Stamparatus, okay? It comes with this cushion. You only need this cushion if you are using photopolymer stamps. Remember, photopolymer stamps are the ones that are completely clear. You can totally see through them, okay? Um, if you're using clear mount or cling, you don't need this because there's already cushion behind the stamp image, the, the rubber, okay? So this is for photopolymer. It does come with this grid that's already here for when you don't need it. Um, and I was kind of silly. I, I've been using this Stampin' Up! logo for my, my eyeball spot, um, but I, <laughs> I made one with washi tape here. You could make one somewhere else if you like it somewhere else. Um, more often than over here, but one of the reasons that I tend to use this spot as a, a, for to line up with is you don't want to get too close to the hinge edges because you have a harder time um, um, getting a good 
stamped image. You can keep trying and you, you sometimes you still just, um, you still struggle with getting a good image here. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm gonna put my pad back on because I am using photopolymer. Put my sheet back on here. And <laughs> sometimes it's a struggle to get the magnets off their storage spots here. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so what I'm gonna use, I don't remember. Oh, this is four and a quarter by two inches. And I've been lining up with just above, or lining up in the square just above the Stampin' Up. So I'm gonna hold on here and hold on here. And I already lined up, or maybe I did, oh yeah, I did, okay. I'm like, this does not seem lined up, but I forgot. I'm going to do, I'm going to punch an end over here. So, um, so it is lined up the way that I want it. Okay. So I already lined this one up, but I'm going to, I'll show you what you have to do to line up the other one. I feel like my cardstock's not straight in here though. One moment. Technical difficulties. <laughs> okay. I've learned not to be a perfectionist quite so much, uh, with stamping, but every now and then, you know, just... Mm, some, sometimes I gotta do it. Okay, so <clears throat> um, if you didn't have this set up already, you would position it on your piece here, pick it up with your plate, and it's ready to go. Oh, a helpful thing, you can't probably see it because it's off camera, but it's helpful to have um, uh, the, uh, a standard, a standard um, like DVD size, uh, stamp case is perfect for putting under um, putting under the plate so that you have a good flat surface for inking up okay so the colors that no this isn't the color I'm using yet okay I am using um, grapefruit grove I can see somebody came on but I can't see who it is so um, thanks for coming on <laughs> Feel free to comment, ask questions, tell me you love me, you know, whatever, um, while I'm doing stuff, but I can't respond right now. I'll, I'll do it later when I'm all done. Okay, so Grapefruit Grove, and I'm inking up wishes here. So I'm using um, the stamp set more than words. It's part of the promotion that is next month, Celebration Coordination. Um... Okay, that didn't stamp very well, which is fine because this is uh, the Stamparatus and I can just go do right on the same spot. Ah, perfection. Okay, so now I have wishes down and I want to add the other part that's with it. So whenever you pull, um, you can't tell on camera, it looks, it looks totally bent, but um, I'm going to tell you right now that um, I have my, I have this plate standing straight up and down. It's perpendicular to the the Stamparatus bottom. So that's how you get it out. If you have it tilted, it locks in place. So stand it straight up and down and then tilt one end or the other to pick it up. And then you can turn it around, put it back in, and go down. Okay, so this one I did not have set up yet. So this is the bottom of the wishes that gives the detail. So I want to line this up perfectly um, I'm making sure that all my that the letters are lined up with that stamp and now I can pick it back up and now I'm going to use Poppy Parade so this is another color these two colors are both in one of the or some of the designer paper excuse me in the the bundle that is a new celebration item I love it. Can you see that? Okay, I'm not going to take it off here because I'll turn this whole thing on. Because I have it lined up perfectly. How cool is that? I love it so much. Okay. Um, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different... Oh, I guess I can do it from up there. So I'm going to make this a birthday card. So we're going to do birthday wishes, 
And so again, I'm placing my saying where exactly I want it. And I'll take my top plate and pick it up. Oh, I forgot to mention, you use the magnets, <laughs> if you couldn't tell, you use the magnets to hold down your cardstock that you're doing, that you're stamping on. Um, otherwise, you know how even when we're just stamping normally, um, the photopolymer stamps, like you stamp it and you pick up your cardstock if you're not holding on to it when you, when you pick up the stamp. So um, this is to help you not do that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I have my birthday up there. And I need my memento. Always memento with photopolymer. Oops. <laughs> Let's not ink up the whole plate. How about? Um, <clears throat> always memento with photopolymer unless you're going to clean it right away. Look how well loved my Simply Chamois is. It is perfect for uh, the Stamparatus, but it never looks pretty. As soon as you use it, it looks horrible. Um, I store mine in a Ziploc bag. I heard a suggestion to do it in um, a stamp case, but there it didn't seal, so it's still dried out. So I would prefer not to keep finding it dried out. So I use the bag. Okay, so I'm inking up my birthday. And put it down. It's not too bad, even though I didn't ink it up first. Remember, I always tell you to ink up first with, when you're using a black pad because it's fabric and photopolymer don't like each other. But with a Stamparatus, I, I can do it a second time anyway. But it looks pretty. Okay, so here's my birthday wishes. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so for now, I'm going to get this out of the way and finish m m the rest of my card. And I probably better close my ink pads too. <laughs> that might be good. Don't need arms in it and everything. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so now I'm using, this is our triple banner punch. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's called this because, well, I'm going to first do it. So you know what I'm talking about banner wise. So I'm going to line this up here, slide it in, and punch. So I have a cute little banner, okay? So I, um, it's called Triple Banner Punch because um, if you can see the little notches here, the very top, This I told you that this was four and a quarter by two inches wide. So the very top is two inches wide. Then the next level down, oops, that would be here, is an inch and a half wide, and the next level down is an inch wide. So you could have strips of anywhere from two inches to, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know how far down you could go. Um, but you can make your banner for any of those sizes, your flag end, your banner end, whatever. Now, if you have something in between, like one and a quarter inch, you're going to have to go on the level that it fits in, and you're just going to have to physically... Um, decide where the center is but if you have them the actual um, two one and a half or one um, I always trim just under like just inside the two inch line so that it fits well in here okay so there's that so I have a piece of this is Sahara sand and this is a piece of um, black foil sheet and um, I ran it through the Big Shot with uh, oh I don't remember the name of it anymore it's just the stripes simple stripes maybe um, embossing folder it's not the corrugated it's just um, thin stripes anyway I had a piece of this in my um, for some reason I thought of black foil sheets so I wanted to use it now I can't find my my Tarrant oh duh Tarrant tape. Um, I saw a piece of this that I had just left in my um, file sheets, and I'm like, oh, I like that. I'm going to use that. And so then I made another one to make for you guys. So I'm going across, um, that probably is not grammatically correct, across uh, these stripes here because I want to go across any texture rather than sticking in between texture. 
So I'm using tear and tape because of the texture. It needs help staying down. So if I make sure that it's pressed down well, then the backing will come off more easily. I probably said this already, but I had a little girl at my one of my um, mommy and me classes one time, and she was just putting it down so delicately, and then she wasn't able to pull it up. And I said, you got to press it down well. She was so sweet. Uh, oops, that just tore somehow. Okay, so I'm not doing any big shotting today. I just um, have it ready for my project. Okay, so hair sand, black foil sheet. Here's um, this designer paper from the Painted uh, Seasons. And again, I'm going to use some uh, tear and tape. Again, I'm doing it so that I'm going across the texture. And I actually want some at the top and bottom too because I'm hanging over it a little bit so I want it to hang on to the good part of the card. Good part. It's just not texture, that's all. Okay, peel off the backing again. So my favorite uh, design of this um, paper is the really bright big flowers I forgot if there's a certain name for them or not but the poppy parade and grapefruit grove and whatever flowers um, but I decided that this saying needed something more fun rather than something so pretty um, so here's my card so far put it forward for you guys and then I need dimensionals oops I didn't cover my ink pad you guys know that if for your black pads or old pads that are not flip top, you always store them upside down, right? In case, um, well, it just helps them so that they stay inked wet longer. Um, so it's helpful. Also, on that note, somebody recently told me, I don't even remember who it was. Okay, on that note, do I have any markers wrong? <clears throat> Here's my Wink Estella. It's available. Okay. Stampin' Up! designed um, their full case of markers um, with the handle at the top and the markers laying flat like this, sideways like this. This is how you should store them. Not like this. Not straight up and down. Like, I, it would be my instinct to look at it and see like, oh yeah, I want it. I want them that way. But you need to lay them like this because the ink needs to go evenly from the, the brush tip to the fine tip. Um, so you need to lay it down. So store your markers that way. Um, not in a cup where they're all standing up like that. Um, so somebody, whoever it was that was sharing with me, they're like, my marker dried out. Um, but one end she could use. and. And it was because that was the end, obviously, that had the ink. So store your markers this way, just like you store your ink pads upside down, okay? Um, all right, so I have this piece here that I'm pulling off. Now i got to make sure that I don't put this on my card upside down because I'm showing you the card correctly. <laughs> that would be just my, just my luck. My speed, whatever you want to call it. I want it down a little bit. So I want to offset. Offsetting is always more pleasing to the eye. Okay, so here's my card. So um, I can see somebody came on um, recently. So what I'm showing is a stamp set. It's called More Than Words. And um, I'm using these. These are the, oh, what are they called? I always, Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. I, there's a couple bloom ones in there, and I can't remember them always. Um, so I'm just sliding these enamel dots off into position wherever it is that I want them. Um, oh, that wasn't offset enough, so we're gonna use more. Hmm, one more down here. Okay. So, more than words is um, 
it coordinates with several different uh, celebration items. So here's my first card using birthday wishes. Um, and I'm actually using birthday wishes again because of this, there's two stamps here. One is the full word, another one is this half word that has like stripes in it. And I just like this and I'm using it with the Stamparatus. Okay, so here's my first card. So the next one, there are several other things for whoever is on again, or new. Um, there's, while well, I clean my Stamparatus or the stamps, um, there are four different framelit sets that are um, that will be available starting March 1. Um, they work with the Lily celebration set and the Hello Cupcake and the Frog, the So Happy Together, and the new bundle with all the flowers um, and leaves and stuff like that. And then there's a new punch also. So you'll have to go back and watch well, I'll show the samples again at the end that show the punch. Okay, so new card. So this one, again, I'm lining up with just above the Stampin' Up, um, the Stampin' Up logo. So in this square, that's just what I've come to use. I'm lining it. I don't want those too close. I told you what happened before. Okay, so I'm lining up there, and I need to turn this around. And I'm lining up wishes up here. Okay, so I'm lining up there and pick it up. All right, now I'm going to use my mint macaroon. Remember, oops, remember it's helpful to have a stamp case underneath. Okay, so I have wishes. Perfect. And I'm going to do this step. I think that's what, what this method is called. It's just step. So this, I love the stamp Stamparatus for this because I always kind of like the look of having like happy, happy, happy birthday or thank you, thank you, thank you or something like that. Um, and the Stamparatus makes this so easy. Look, I have all those wishes on there. Okay, and I don't need to worry too much about it's not perfectly, um, perfectly inked. It's a little bit splotchy, but that's okay. Sorry, this one isn't showing very well on, on here, seems like. Okay, um, if your comments are on the way, you can swipe them out of the way and that might be helpful. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom of the wishes. So I'm gonna put it on here. pick it up okay so now I didn't close my mint macaron again now I'm using call me clover I, this isn't my favorite green but I'm using it because it's in the uh, in this designer paper that's part of the celebration bundle the new celebration bundle okay I love it there's my wishes. Love, love, love. Okay, then I'm gonna step it down. Ink it up again. Oh, I didn't get my S very well. No, I inked it fine. I didn't press it well right there. Close to the hinge gives you a hard time. So just watch it. Okay, ink this up again. I really like this card a lot. Okay, so I'm done with this plate for now. I'm just gonna set this aside. I'll show you my wishes upside down. Okay, 
Now I'm going to do one more step. Okay, so I'm using the birthday. And I'm going to go across it. And I'm going to pick it up. And use my memento. Okay, now because this birthday wishes is so dark, I'm going to ink it a couple times to help darken the birthday. That's a fine font. Ooh, that's good. Step down one more time. So for this one, because I have an angle because of where I want it, I'm just doing three steps, not four steps, like wishes. Not getting the bi very well. Ah, I love that. Okay, so here's that look. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm almost done with the card. Done with the Stamparatus. Done with my ink. This is one of my tighter ones. You can tell I don't use Call Me Clover very often. <clears throat> okay, and I need... So this is... One of the designs, designer paper from that bundle. Here's the other side. That's my favorite one. <clears throat> and yeah, I have to put adhesive on it because this side doesn't go so well with the others, with what I stamped already. So I'm putting this on here. And then I'm going to put this on my card. And what my aim was, I had to cut this down a few times, what my aim was, <clears throat> was to have this piece tipped at the same angle as I have birthday tipped. So that was kind of my, my vision anyway. And then just to, um, do I want big ones? I'm going to use big ones this time. When I... When I have something really close to the edge, I just slide it off. Wait, did I use a big one? I used a medium one. There you go. There's my card. That's it. Okay, so I showed you the cards that I made. I'm going to pop you up. Oh, Stephanie's here. Hello. Oh yeah, that is a good masculine card. I Both of these are actually, I think. Well, except for the rhinestone on it. Somebody might not like that, but. Uh, but some guys like bling too. You know, it just depends. Okay, so here's another one that I did. Um, so this, I decided to use Easter and I still wanted to use this designer paper. Oh, my black pad isn't closed. Um, so I still wanted to use my designer paper. And for this wishes, I got it off a little somehow, but um, I tried to use, um, it, it didn't turn out quite as good as I was hoping that it would. I tried to use the same ink. So both of the wishes stamps are uh, pool party. So I tried to, I just wanted to see how it would work. So I did that. Anyway. Oh, and I like this ribbon. This is shimmery pool party ribbon. It seems a little bit thicker than the black does, um, but I I like it. Okay, my next one. Oh, <laughs> here's my frog one. So this is thanks for jumping in. Um, with this is call me Clover, and he's. Um, oh, what are they? Granny Apple Green Stampin' Blends. And then Early Espresso and Cum Cake. Ah, 
He's so funny. I like this dragonfly. He looks like, what's going on? <laughs> I love it. I didn't want to color him, though. Okay, and then there's this one. So this is Bravery Looks Beautiful on You. So you probably you probably can't see it very well, but I did the embossing mats with the stitching on the card base and this designer paper. This is the butterfly designer paper, the celebration one. Um, I did stitching on here. And to get Bravery to look this dark, I, I decided that I wanted to use Blackberry Bliss instead of black. And to get it that dark, I inked it up and stamped it several times. So, and then there's a few rhinestones. So, um, so this is the stamp set, more than words, um, that you will be able to, <clears throat> you can order these. These are not something that you have to earn uh, starting March 1. And they will only be available March 1 through March 31. So, um, you have, that's a pretty... I love that ribbon. I, I've had it for a while and I just, um, I hadn't used it yet. I love the shimmery ribbon. Um, and it worked well. Thank you, Sherry. Um, uh, when I saw it on there, um, I just, seeing the top was lighter, I'm like, oh, that ribbon would be perfect. So anyway, so um, all these things, um, I don't, the price of this stamp set is $17 that will be on March 1, which is Friday already. Can you believe it? Um, so I don't remember the prices of, oh, I have them here. The thinlets are all about $27 or $28 and the punch is $18. Um, so I'll have a flyer um, that I can show you when I see you or I'll put on my blog or I'll probably try to remember to do it next Wednesday so that you can see the flyer also in case you haven't ordered it by then. But anyway, so these items are orderable. They just coordinate with celebration items. So these aren't ones that you have to earn. You can just buy these. So um, anyway, so that's what I have for you today. It seems like there's one more thing. Okay, I told you. Um, so if, you, um, if you're interested, if you have the same apparatus and are interested in the small grid paper, it's not something that's in a catalog. It's um, Stampin' Up! just has a flyer. So I will put, um, well, I can tell you the item number right now. It's 149621. I have a flyer that I have here at my clubs, um, and I will put it in the top of um, this video, the, the detail of this video, too. Um, but you're not going to find it in, in in a catalog. You have to look online or come to my class or watch my video or, you know, that sort of thing. So um, if anybody is interested, I have one more, one more thing. Tomorrow is my, um, what do I call it? I call it my All Occasions Card Class. And it's tomorrow. We're making six cards to each of three designs. And the designs are going to be... Um, birthday, <laughs> Sherry, you crack me up. Any money left after your weekend in Chicago? Um, so which one are you talking? The ribbon you need to add or the grid paper? Um, uh, now you made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> oh, okay, so I have a card class tomorrow. And, um, we're making six cards. Um, the designs are... Um, you're making two of birthday, thank you, and sympathy. So um, you still can, Ooh, so sorry, still can sign up um, today yet. I will let you sign up today. And um, class is tomorrow at 7 o'clock. I have a few people, um, but if you would like to, all of it. <laughs> Sounds good, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, your order's here. I, I um, have to bag it. So I will be getting it to Kathy later. So um, anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> you just write out your order form, Sherry. I will take whatever you want. <laughs> um, save some money, though. You got to do that. Uh, so anyway, if you want to sign up for my class tomorrow, let me know by today sometime soon so that I can plan for you. So um I think that's all that I have for you today. So remember to share and comment and like. Oh, cool, I'll let Donald. Cool. Um, 
And um, I will um, I will draw names on Monday. And I'll try to be a little faster getting them in the mail than I was with Marsha's. <laughs> That's going on today from last week. Well, I guess I'm not too far behind because that was only like Monday that I drew the name. So anyway, I just... So have a wonderful day, and I will see you again next Wednesday, and I will, uh, I will let you know who won the drawing on Monday, of course. So have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for sharing, Marsha and Sherry. Bye.